If you could do one thing better on the saxophone, what would it be? corny over St. Thomas, then when can you be corny? Well, maybe when the Saints. Anyway, welcome along to today's vlog. It's been a little while. Um, vlogs are just difficult to do at the moment. I'm really sorry. I will do them when I can. And today is one of those days when I want to do them because I want to talk about the survey we did in this one. Over 200 of you have replied to this survey, which is phenomenal. And it gives me a great snapshot over what you guys want to really learn and what you know you guys are struggling with. Because some of you uh, have taken part in Cambridge Saxophone. Some of you are showing an interest in my new venture at sax.coach and others of you have hit the link below and got the four lessons free from Cambridge Saxophone. You can do that now if you've not done it already. Maybe you've got a secondary email address, you could do it there. But please do hit that subscribe button if you are new. Uh, like if you are just here anyway. Helps get the word out there. You know all the script. You've seen so many YouTube videos now. It's all there. Now what I wanted to do today was to lead on to next week's practice along session. Wednesday the 15th of June 2022, because if you're watching this in four or five years time, it's already gone past. Goodness knows what's happened since. But next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Uh, London time. If you're in across the rest of the world, you can tune in and watch it later. There's no desire to desperately watch it there and then. It'd be nice if a few of you were there and joining me. It's not necessarily going to be a total practice along like the other ones. This is going to be more in depth dealing with what we've what you've answered in this survey and what we can go back. But I really like some of these answers. Let me show you them. Tone, timing, article, improvisation. Brilliant. Playing what you can hear. Wow, yeah. Transcribing is going to help you with that. Playing over chords and transcription, improvisation, technique building, improvising, technique, voicing, finger technique, melodic construction. Really, really good answer there. How to start improvising, how to learn the language of jazz. Listen, 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 listen. Time, yeah, don't we all. Chord structures, their relationship to melody and different musical styles. Confidence, the whole thing there we can talk about. Improvising over the blues, intonation, improvising and getting away from using sheet music. All of these things. And I'm not trying to make it up and do it as a big plug. All of these things are on the Cambridge Saxophone website. You head over there, there are lessons covering every single topic here. Every single one of them is on the Cambridge Saxophone website. So if you want to learn more of those in lessons, there's your answer. Get over there. And then my next question was, if you could do one thing better, and that's the title of today's vlog, if you could do one thing better on the saxophone, what would it be? Well, a number of you said, I have an amazing tone. Play from memory. Have a better technique. Altissimo make less mistakes, easily play altissimo. A lot of people want to play high here. Time and feeling the rhythm. Okay, better dexterity, speed, long tone, start learning 40 years early, bleh, start learning 40 years earlier than I did. Can't do much about that. My DeLorean's not that great anymore. Better sound and tone, keep better time during the solo, improve my armature, keep better time, be consistent, improve tone, improve tone. Altissimo, a lot of you want to go really high. Maybe you need to play the soprano. Um, play more fluently. Improvise, improvise, improvise. Some really, really great responses. And it's great that so many of you 
because Survey Monkey does let down your IP address, so it's not the same person saying the same thing, are coming back with the same answers, which is you want to get better at improvising, you want to get better at technique. Now, if you want to get better at improvising, the best place to go is to go to the great master improvisers. I love Sonny Rollins. I think Sonny Rollins is one of the greatest improvisers in all genres of music, full stop. But if you're wanting to learn jazz, then you have to start with jazz improvisers. But if you want to get better at improvising, I suggest to listen to other styles of music where they improvise. So whether that's Indian music, whether it's rock music, pop music, you know, listen to you know, Brian May. If you were in the UK, you would have caught the Platinum Jubilee concert. It was great to hear him improvise a couple of extra solos. You get so used to hearing the recordings of those Queen records that you expect to hear the same solo all the time. It's great that he's going out there and improvising a little bit. Anyway, um, they are really laudable goals, but I've got to say to you, as a realist, as a, someone who has been playing the saxophone for 30 years, he's been coaching, teaching, I'm changing the thing with sax coach. If you haven't seen the new sax coach website, please go and head over and give it a look. Sign up for my next class. We're gonna be dealing with Dexter Gordon's Scrapple from the Apple. I'm going to take you through. The next class is going to be on Zoom, okay? So all you need to do is go to sax.coach. That's all it is, sax.coach. That's the website. And I will sign up, say you want to join in. And it's, the first class is going to be totally free. It's going to be on Zoom, as many as you can get on Zoom. And I'm going to take you through the opening of that solo. And then we're going to go into it in more detail. The beauty of something like Scrapple from the Apple, A, it's a Charlie Parker tune, so it's bebop, so it's brilliant, okay? B, it's quite simple. And C, it's all dominant or major seventh chords. Yes, there are minor two fives, but minor chords are two chords are five chords. That's a whole other subject for another time. But there you go. Thank you all of you who've answered that. The survey's now closed. There'll be some more coming up soon. As you know, Jude from Manchester won the Dodario Venn read. Um, speaking of reads, on um, today, I am still playing on the Sios, on the tenor. The Venn read on the alto is incredible. If you're an alto player, you have to try the Venn read. I'm telling you now, you have to try the Venn read. I'm not taking to it on tenor, I'm sorry to say, for Daddario's sake, but I really am enjoying these Sios reads on tenor. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. But on alto, maybe I like a different sound on alto. My alto sound, yeah, preference is a bit brighter. It's a bit more responsive on tenor. I have what I want. I know what I want. There's a song in there somewhere. So, a really quick q and A. I've asked you to do some Q&As. If you've got any more questions, please do fill them in the comments below. Uh, but Julio Perez uh, asked me, says, are these the Generation 1 or the new Generation G2 of the Venn reads? These are the newer G2 variation that are released in the UK, Europe uh, in April um, of uh, 20... Am I level there? April of this year, anyway. Gazman, again, on the Daddario Venn reads, said, I'd love to hear you back in a couple of weeks. You're practicing a change in the sound. Interesting to hear. Yeah. I just ain't feeling it on tenor. I have put them back on. It's just not working for me on the tenor, the venery, but it really, really, really is working on the alto. Uh, Graham Sykes says that I need to try a Marmaduke strap from Japan. If anyone's it from Marmaduke or knows anyone, put us in touch. Or let's do a review. Always happy to do new reviews. Jazz Marcel said I've been playing the Jair American Cup for two years. Problem is they crap within a few days and dead within six weeks. I've got to say the Ven read is still going well. Sounding like a bit of a Ven plug here. Um, what read strength? Uh, Mario asked me what strength read am I playing? I'm playing a three on both of them. Rob on the last practice along video was saying that he couldn't play along, but had a great time on the call and response. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you check it out. Next Wednesday, the uh, whatever the date is next Wednesday, I'm going to do uh, the live practice along. We're going to talk about the Dexter Gordon. I'm going to take you through that as a transcription, and we're going to do some more interactive practice things. Please do head over to Cambridge Saxon if you want the full free lessons, and head to sax.coach if you want to get involved in that Zoom link, where we're going to go into more depth about improvisation, about tone, all those kind of things. Lots and lots of exciting stuff coming up with Sats Coach. I've been moving that onto a new server because the server I had it on 
was rubbish. So I've got it onto a really good server. I need to spend some time building that site alongside everything else in life. So that's all we've got time for today. On Saturday, I will be back with you for a special vlog. It is the Cambridge Modern Jazz Club's 50th anniversary. I'll be there on Saturday. If you're watching this and you are local to Cambridge, you can catch me down there. I'll be playing along with the house band uh, and I'll try and do a vlog for you guys as well. So thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.